Hey everyone, hope you're doing well today. Today we're gonna to be talking about a topic that I've not seen on YouTube before and it's something that's a little bit unique, but it's definitely a factor as we push through the fall time months and into the early winter and something that will help you go out and be a better and more efficient angler throughout the fall. So I'm really excited to bring this topic to you guys. And this is something that I experienced quite a bit over the past week when Brennan was up here and we were fishing together. Um, that really kind of, we had a lot of discussions about and impacted our ability to catch bass throughout the day. And what I'm going to be talking about are bite windows for smallmouth. And this is a topic that can be a little bit controversial, right? Because bass are always going to be in the water and you can always typically find a way to catch one or two more bass or so you'd think. But throughout the trip, we kind of noticed that we'd have these bite windows driven by different factors when we get into little flurries or we have these opportunities to put multiple fish in the boat back to back or on a consistent basis. And so I wanna really talk about the bite windows throughout the fall and into the early winter, the factors that are gonna play into them and how it's gonna impact your fishing trip. Now, if you guys are watching a lot of these videos and you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. And if you don't know who I am, my name is Benjamin Nowak and this is a fishing focused channel. So if you enjoy that style of content, consider hitting that subscribe button and let's grow this community. But as we dive into the topic, what I really want to talk about is kind of these bite windows and how it's going to play into your ability to catch more bass throughout the day. And the first thing I want to start by talking about is what defines a bite window. And to me, what a bite window is, is basically a period of time throughout a day, whether it's driven by time of day or conditions that triggers more bass to be willing to bite. This doesn't mean the entire lake's gonna pop off. It doesn't mean every single fish in the area that you're fishing is going to end up biting, but it's a time of day when fish seem to be a little bit more active, a little bit more aggressive and willing to bite. And these are the times that you're definitely gonna to wanna to be on your A spot and you're going to want to be fishing for those better quality bass. If you have a higher percentage area, if you have a spot that typically has bigger fish on it, this is when you're gonna to want to hit those spots and target those fish and definitely not going to want to be sitting in your house or sitting in the truck on the way to the lake. So what I found is that just in general, as we push through the fall, the early fall period is when bite windows are going to matter the most. Then throughout the fall, you're going to notice longer periods, longer bite windows, and times that fish are more aggressive, especially as conditions dictate those fish to be a little bit more aggressive throughout the fall. And we'll touch on that here in a little bit, but early fall, really, you're going to have very small bite windows. As we go through the fall, they're gonna extend. And then as we push into the late fall and early winter, really those cold 48 degree water temps and below, you're gonna to start to notice those bite windows get smaller again as you push into like that ice period. And so what I've found is that your most typical bite windows, especially for me up here in the Midwest, what I've noticed, you have a really, really good and probably the strongest bite window of the day, the first hour, hour and a half of daylight. What that means is you want to be on the water. You want to be targeting these fish that first hour to hour and a half that you have of daylight throughout your day. And a lot of times this is when your biggest fish and the most fish you're going to catch your biggest flurry is going to be is during this small window right at the beginning of the day. So you want to target your best spot, your, your spot with the biggest fish, the first thing that you do when you get on the lake. And the reason for this, I think, is because a lot of times these fish are starting, it's basically, they've been up all night. They're, they're starting to get up into the spots that they can feed and they're able to see a little bit better. They're starting to be a little bit more aggressive. Maybe the water's warming up a little bit as the sun starts to shine down on, the, on some of the areas. And so these fish are gonna be willing and apt to eat very, very first thing. They're gonna be hungry. They're gonna be experiencing a little bit warmer water and the, the sun's gonna be out and it's gonna be kind of allowing them to see a little bit better so they're gonna be able to be aggressive. So the first hour to hour and a half, especially during the early fall, is gonna be the best bite window of the day. Then you're gonna go through a typical lull from about eight o'clock, 8.30, until about one or 2 p.m. Then what I've noticed is that there's typically a pretty decent bite window about two o'clock to four o'clock. And this isn't really a major feeding window to me, but this is a time that fish seem to be a little bit more aggressive. Maybe if you get on a spot and you can see them on your side scan or forward viewing sonar or your bank fishing, you just know fish are there, that they'll typically be able to bite. And you might get into another bite window during this time of day. And this is what Brennan and I experienced basically throughout the trip was you have that early bite window, you go through a lull, you get on another bite window basically between two and four o'clock. 
And then the rest of the day was just kind of stagnant. But then the rest of the evening, and this is what I find really odd, I've never really found a good evening bite window during the fall or during the late fall to winter transition. And I think the reason for this is the water starts to cool down, the sun tends to get a little bit lower, and it tends to cool the water temps, maybe even just a half or a fraction of a degree. And these fish really notice this. And so I think that's where that 2 to 4 p.m. bite window really comes into play. Um, it's something pretty odd. I think it happens especially a lot on glacial style bodies of water where you have deep water nearby. Those fish don't necessarily have to feed. They can suspend and they can eat as they need, especially with major access to bait fish. But those are the two main predictable bite windows that I've experienced during regular conditions. Now, like I mentioned earlier in the video, though, there are weird factors and conditions that will impact your bite window throughout the day. The biggest one of these is going to be wind, and it's going to be the presence of clouds or rain. When you notice these front systems pushing in, whether it's um, rain pushing in or clouds pushing in with higher wind activity, a lot of times you're going to extend that bite window. And this is something that's going to happen quite often, or even just create a new bite window throughout a day. When there's a lot of wind, it's going to stir up that water. It's going to activate your body of water in the lake. And a lot of times you're going to have fish that would have otherwise been neutral or negative start to become and push towards that positive mood. They're going to want to feed. They're going to want to eat, especially on those windblown banks. And then this is going to be amplified when you have a pressure system pushing through, whether you have rain coming or storm coming or whatever you might have coming into your area. A lot of times that's going to trigger these fish to extend their bite window and really cause them to feed up a little bit more heavily. This is actually what happened uh, yesterday when we were out fishing and Brennan and I caught a double um, and then we caught another fish a couple minutes later and then we caught a third and following a couple other fishes just following that. So you'll have these systems throughout the day where maybe you notice clouds pushing in or you notice it gets a little bit chill um, or maybe you notice a, a storms pushing through the area. You're going to get another bite window as that starts to push in. That's your prefrontal bite window. And this is something that happens all year long, but it has a huge major impact throughout the fall period. And then as we push into the fall time months, like further into October, further into those lower water temperatures, you're going to notice that these fish become more and more aggressive throughout the day. That bite window pretty much goes away and then you have fish becoming moderately aggressive all day long. And this is why fall can be such a fun time of year to fish is because you have extended bite windows. Fish seem to be more aggressive and those bite windows that were there during the fall transition into the early fall period seem to kind of go away and fish seem to be more active and aggressive. But pay attention to these things when you guys are fishing. Try to hit the lake very first thing in the morning. Don't sleep in. Hit that early bite window. Hit that afternoon bite window. And if you're going to travel, if you're going to bounce lakes, which is something I do quite a bit, try to do it between that 1030 to noon period or 1030 to 2 period when those fish may be a little bit less active and aggressive. So keep that in mind when you go out on your body of water. I'm curious if you guys have seen this as well on your lakes and your bodies of water that you guys fish, because to me it's a big factor and it plays a huge role in my ability to catch fish and have flurries of action throughout the day. So let me know what you guys think. Is this something that impacts you guys? Is this something that you guys have noticed? Or do you think it's all hogwash and it really doesn't matter at all? Let me know down in the comment section because this is something that I've noticed over the years and I think can play a big role in my ability to catch numbers of fish, but also get the biggest bite throughout the day. So as always guys, thanks for watching. If you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. And uh, there's gonna be a lot of cool things coming very shortly as well as another trip up to the UP with Ron and Dirt. So there's gonna be some content coming from that. But as always, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Take care of Ted Lines. God bless. Pursue your passion.